One of the great building blocks of the pre-trib theory is the notion of a tribulation saint. These are believers who are present during the Antichrist regime and are put to death for their faith. According to the pre-trib theory, these people will be compelled to endure hardship and perhaps even die as a demonstration of their faith which Jesus seems to say they must perform in order to be ultimately saved. And since that smells like working for salvation, it is thus assumed to be some new arrangement in a third covenant after the age of free grace has ended. Pre-trib believers have a very foggy notion that martyrdom will be some sort of new development introduced by the Antichrist regime. Then and only then will believers be forced to deny Jesus Christ or pay with their lives. Meanwhile, in the age of free grace, this is apparently not happening or something. But it is, and it has been for 2,000 years. Right now, at this very moment, Christians around the world are being given ultimatums to convert or die. They are being beheaded. They are being dismembered. They are being pushed off of balconies and stabbed in the streets and hung from tree limbs. Just last month in Pakistan, a Christian was given the death sentence in a court because she insulted a certain false prophet. At least she had a trial, though, unlike many of her brethren who were summarily beaten by lynch mobs with no trial. Honor killings are still rampant, and they tend to be especially brutal in nature. For many, many Christians in the world on this very day, there is a very real possibility that they will be given an ultimatum to deny Jesus Christ or die. So here is my question. There is a Christian out there somewhere right now in October 2024 who will soon be given this ultimatum. Deny the saving work of Jesus Christ, convert to another ideology, or die a torturous, painful death probably involving dismemberment. What shall this person do? Can this person deny Jesus Christ and still be a Christian because all sins are covered by grace? Or does this person have to be faithful all the way to death? Does the sin of denying Jesus get covered by grace or not? Right now, today, in October 2024, can this person deny Jesus Christ and still be saved by grace? This is what I am calling the pre-trib dilemma. Either you're going to have to say that denying Jesus Christ will not break your salvation, and it's so apparently okay to deny Jesus Christ when under duress, or you're going to have to say this person must follow through with death to keep his integrity. Those are your options. And this is not a false dilemma. It's not an extreme either-or proposition. It is the same proposition set before the tribulation saints. They must convert or die, no third option. So they either follow through with dying to prove their devotion or they deny him and are cut off. Can a Christian in this age of grace deny Jesus Christ to escape death and still be a Christian because all sins are covered by grace? Or will you say that denying him is unforgivable and the only right thing to do is die? If the person must, therefore, be willing to die, then are you not saying he has to earn his salvation by doing the right thing? This is your great dilemma, guys. Grace even covers the sin of denying him, or martyrs have to work by dying. Just for the record, none of this was my idea. I am not the one who ever supposed that dying as a martyr is earning salvation. I did not reach that conclusion you guys did. You guys say tribulation saints have to earn salvation by working for it. And you all say martyrdom is a work. So based on your logic, you need to explain why any other Christian in that same situation today will not work by choosing death. And suppose maybe you want to say that Jesus knows his sheep and he knows who will be faithful, so a true believer will just naturally endure and is not working for it. Well, if you want to take that angle, then why is that not the arrangement for tribulation saints? Why? As near as I can tell, the dynamic faced by this person is the exact same dilemma faced by these people. If that is not the case, 
you need to explain why I await your answers.